Hi, I'm Michael from TaylorMade and I'm here to show you how to assemble our element drawer unit. Firstly, I'll get you to undo all the pieces out of the box, lay them out on the floor, have your instructions and have a look to have a look to see if everything is obviously there. Okay? Now as you can see, before we started, what I've done is I've got our what they call our cam screws. This is the cam screw. As you can see, I've gone and I've put them all through all the pieces already. First thing you do, get them all in first. Okay? I've got one here left over to show you. So you can see how it's done. Now where they go is they go in all the little holes that have a little plastic plug in them. Okay? So you place it in there. Okay? And you grab your screwdriver. One I prepared earlier. And you screw it in like so. Now, one thing to note. This is piece number three, and on piece number three, you will notice there are two holes here that have the plastic plug in them. This is the only piece in this unit that you do not put a cam lock in. You leave this one open, and, you'll, and we'll show why later on. Okay, next step is to grab piece one and grab piece two. What I've gone and done is I've actually gone and placed all the cams in first. The choice is yours. You can put them all in first if you want to, if you've got experience with cam locks, you can put them in first because you know how they work. If you're a little bit inexperienced with cam locks, this is the cam lock here. It actually can be sometimes easier to actually put them in as you go. But the choice is yours. I like to put them in first because that's the way I do. Okay, so um, piece two goes onto piece one. And the way that works is it goes onto the side like so. Now I'll show you here, to make sure it goes in the right way, you've got these two cam locks at the top, okay? This piece here is piece number four. Okay, piece number four has the dowels over to the one side here, as you can see. So we're putting it on the other side. So it sits on and goes over on top. Okay, don't force everything, just make sure it all comes down like so. Okay, that's sitting on there. We go ahead and tighten all those, tighten all the cam locks. Place it up like so. Then we get piece number six. Piece number six is the piece that goes in the middle here. Okay. Make sure that the cams go on the inside, okay, facing piece number four. Okay, that's the important bit. We don't want it this way, these cam locks facing piece number four. Very important to remember that. Now hold on. Up your cam locks and we're up to this section. This is how, what we get now is we get piece five. Okay, this is piece five. This little part here you want to take your time with. Okay, a few little things to remember. Okay, and so please follow my instructions because it will make it easier. Okay, so with piece five, as you can see, you've got your two cam screws right here. You place them on top, like so. Now we lock these ones in. Okay, so very important to lock these ones in. Now Lock them in position. Like so. Now, we get piece three. Now, piece three, you leave that like so. It goes around this way, like so. We put this on. Now, the key about this is, we don't lock this one in position just yet, okay? Right, there we go. But I'm not gonna lock this one down, just for the moment, I'll tell you why. Because we need to put this piece in now, which is piece number seven, which is going in the middle here. And the reason we don't do it, we just need that little bit of play, just so we get the holes lined up. Okay, now we grab piece seven. As I've already mentioned, I haven't cam locked this one in, and that is because we need a little bit of play to get this piece in. Piece seven goes in here. At the beginning of the video, I mentioned not to put the cam screws into these two holes, okay? And I said, I'll tell you what, this is the reason why, because these bolts are the ones that go into these holes. So what you want to do is gently slide piece seven down, so like so. Now you just got to line it all up. It's a little bit tricky. Take your time. Push it through. Get it started. You got it started, yeah. You know, once it started, then you can tighten them up with the Allen key, like so. And now we go ahead, and now I'll go and I'll cam lock 
all the other pieces in. Okay, so now we get the last step is the top, which is piece number eight. Easy to see where it goes. You've got the three here, you've got the three holes here at the back right hand corner. So you make sure that they go at the back right hand corner. Get them on. Like so. There you go. Quick, you can go ahead. So with the cam locks already in and in position, it does make it a little quicker. You can just run around quickly after it's on top. Tighten it like so. They're all tightened. Everything's nice and tight now. That is going nowhere. Now we can put our drawers in. Like so. One, two, three, oops, and four. And there you have the elements draw unit fully assembled. Last thing you can do is there are the white caps that we, we provide. You can place them on the cam locks. I'll give you an example quickly here. On the outside, just to make the unit look really good. Okay, and you can continue right through and do your whole unit. And there it is.